Hi, this is a short instructional video on Touch Voice Gold, an application for the speech impaired. I'll be demonstrating this uh, application on the Chrome browser on a desktop, but it works fine on tablets. Uh, preferred 10 inch tablets over 8 inch tablets. Okay, so uh, this is the main screen and these are the word phrase buttons to speak on the screen. So you can touch or click on them and they will speak. Help. Me. Nurse. Thirsty. Okay. And you can page through these word phrases by using the arrow keys down here at the bottom. When you reach the end, they, it pages no more, and then you can page back. Change channel. You can erase this top line here where you're seeing the text that you're pressing, the speech line, by pressing the erase button. How? Okay. And it speaks immediately when you press these buttons. My girlfriend. My spouse. And you can turn that speaking off by hitting the auto off button up here, and then it won't speak immediately. You have to hit the speak button down here at the bottom to speak then. My kids. The only thing the auto off does in effect is the images, and we'll talk about those in a moment. So let's turn it back on. Come back soon. Okay. So, um, the word phrases are part of a series of dialogues. Dialogues have word phrases in them. So if you hit on the dialogues button down here, you'll see a series of dialogues. And by pressing on the dialogues multiple times, you'll cycle through them. Okay, it doesn't use the arrows. Only within the word phrases do you use the arrows. So, for example, here we have a dialogue about town. So if we hit about town, we'll see places around town. Airport. Bakery. Church. Police station. Video store. Not many of those left. Okay. Now, um, so again, you can page back once you're inside of a dialogue, but there are a number of dialogues to choose from. A lot of different categories. Change. Doctor appointment. Okay, so uh, now let's talk about images. So if you need to use images to speak, we have a series of images and the image button works much like the dialogue button in cycling around. So you can cycle through different images. I am ready to eat. I need to shower. And in these images, I need my glasses. We have emoticons. I love you. I am in pain. And you can choose pain levels as well. Distressing pain level six. If you need to communicate pain. Okay. Now, in addition to, uh, let's go back to some of the word phrases here. In addition to the word phrases, you have a word cycling line down here that, that works off of this little arrow down here. And you can cycle through. Yes and no are available. Yes. No. Always on, yes. on this no. line when the line is visible. And I'll explain that in a moment. Okay. Uh, Enough. Need to go to store. Back. Going to post office. You get the you get the how this works. It cycles around. You can choose very interesting uh, words to form complete uh, uh, sentences with predicates and so forth. All right. Now, let's talk about um, uh, custom buttons. You you probably want the ability to create your own custom buttons, and that's with the custom button feature over here. So, if you hit custom, we've given you a few customs to work with. Okay. And um, we're going to show you how to create more. So, for example, do the following. 
um, you can input something, your own words, into the speech line up here. Your own words. And then you can save those words to a custom button, and that custom button will appear where the null is. So, for example, if you hit save, we've got your own words. Your own words. And that's how they speak. Okay? So, you, so let's um, add some more. And I suggest that you keep these word snippets or phrases short so that you can put them together into complete sentences and they won't take up the entire area of the screen. So you want to keep them limited in size, much less than even half of this speech line. Okay? So once we've done that, we hit save again, and now we've got add some more words. Add some more. Your own words. Okay? And that's how custom words work. And it pages through your custom words just like dialogues pages through when you've reached the end of the page here. Okay. Now, if you want to, you don't like the word that you put in, okay, it's no problem. No problem. All you have to do is select that word and get the text on the speech line and then hit Erase Custom Button. And now, no problem has been erased and a null has gone into its place. So, if you want to delete and add new words and then change a little bit of the order, it's very um, primitive, but it does work, okay? So, uh, does work, okay? And stay away from special characters and such. We recommend that you just use basic text. So if I hit save, what's going to happen is does work will appear here in the null position. And it does. Does work. And null has gone to the bottom to add more words as you go, and then you'll page to other sections. Okay, now let's uh, talk about uh, uh, these other buttons up here. Um, help instructions basically is this video, gives you help instructions, and you always have to go back from these pages up here. Voice allows you to change the voice settings, and again, we're, we're recommending Chrome as the browser to use here so you'll see similar voice settings so we're gonna change it from female to in English male so we choose from here the voice and this is the button we use to test the voice and save the voice settings test and select speech synthesis voice yeah. and basically you can type anything up here type anything up here. Okay, and that, that's what will be spoken. Now, uh, you may hit, have to hit the refresh a couple of times sometimes to make these voices appear because they don't initialize properly, but if they do, just select from the one you want, then go back, and now... Help me, Lars. Find. my IV. Okay, and so that's how you you change the voices. Um, on the voice settings, just for your information, um, some of them are going to speak very fast and you need to change the rate and, and you have to get near the bottom here at the slowest rate, some of the speech uses, and change the pitch. And some of these voices do not affect existing voices in here. So, and some will. So let's give you an example here. We're going to go to the native voice on the device. Test and select speech synthesis voice. And we're going to change the rate. Test and select speech synthesis voice. That's a little too fast. Test and select speech synthesis voice. And that's a little slow, but this is just an example. So we're going to change the pitch to. Test and select speech synthesis voice. Test and select speech synthesis voice. Now we got a nice slow sounding voice test here. And select speech. And I hit test voice. a couple of times, so it's going to do that. All right, so now let's see if it works. Bathroom. Oh. Bathroom. Oh, okay. Sometimes it takes a moment for the voice to catch hold, and that's just normal. So, so, but then now it's set forever from Medicine. on that voice until you go back to change it. It is hard for me to do. That sure is. <laughs> it's hard for you to do. Okay. Now, uh, last thing, on the speech line up here, if you have the real estate, the, the screen real estate, 
you can change the size of the speech line. You may not have that on some tablets, but on desktops and laptops you might. Okay, you can do that. Um, I think that's just about it. Oh, screen settings. Okay, so let's let's talk about screen settings. On some devices, the screen may not be optimal. You may want to change the number of word phrase columns and rows. Okay, or you might want to change something in images or this uh, cycle line button down here. Okay, if you just don't have enough room on the screen to see everything and you have to scroll uh, to do that, then what you can do is go to screen settings and you can change the number of um, columns. So let's go up to five here, uh, the maximum, because we're on a big screen and on a smaller one you would do less. And let's go, we're already at the maximum number of rows, and let's get the maximum number of images per line. There's only, only two lines of images all the time. And, and then let's, ex let's remove that cycle line uh, just for the heck of it. Okay. And then go back, and on some browsers you'll have to hit the refresh, but most likely you don't if you're using Chrome again. Uh, and so um, you see this cycle line, I don't know if you remember down here, is gone. Okay, and we now have one, two, three, four, five columns and one, two, three, four, five rows. And um, so when you cycle through them, everything's fine, but in some cases the dialogues, if you choose a certain dialogue, let's see if we can, it might not be a good one here, let's try that. The, the size of the buttons change and then the alignment is different. And that may bother you or, or not, but uh, that's something you'll learn uh, to adjust for your specific device. And that's, let's put the cycle word line back and you'll see. And see, there's the cycle word line down here. So that kind of concludes the, um, the uh, example of touch voice. Oh, and if you need to get to the website, just simply click here on the touch voice uh, icon up here and it will launch and take you to the touch voice uh, uh, website and store, okay, where you can purchase Touch Voice Gold. Thank you very much. I hope it uh, serves you well.